Milwaukee County trying to reduce racial disparities in the vaccine rollout. A new program prioritizes older adults in specific zip codes. Sarah McGrew shows us this targeted approach. The county is starting with the two zip codes here in the 53204 zip code and in the 53206 zip code. Here's why they chose those two. Structural racism is still producing unequal outcomes for our residents in regards to vaccinations and the effect of the pandemic at large, to be honest. With the zip code program launched today, officials say they can target the most vulnerable populations, increasing equitable access to COVID-19 vaccines. Using data to identify these populations helps public health officials and emergency response planners meet the needs of their community. Here you can see the current disparities of vaccine distribution in Milwaukee County. Of all doses given in the county, only 10.5% have gone to black Milwaukeeans and just under 6% have gone to Hispanics or Latinos. In the 53206 zip code, 94% of residents are black. And in the 53204 zip code, 70% of residents are Hispanic. We will certainly work our way through all of the zip codes in the county, but we st are starting with the zip codes with the highest vulnerability, as defined by the Center for Disease Control, the CDC. County officials also said they realize that transportation is a barrier for many and are hoping to expand the program to include a transportation option for those who need it. Our goal really is to remove the barriers to access. These, these outreach efforts will ultimately help us achieve our vision of being the healthiest county in the state of Wisconsin by, by striving for racial equity. Vaccines for this program will be given at the Kosciuszko Community Center. Appointments are required, and again, those 65 and older in the 53206 and 53204 zip codes are eligible. Officials say appointments for this program are available as early as tomorrow morning. To sign up, you can head to covidmke.com or we'll have a link up on our website. In Milwaukee, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News.